guys welcome to my channel today I have a story time for you and I've actually really been wanting to do another story time since my last one my last one was a little bit controversial I didn't expect it to you know get as big as it was but um yeah it got like that but we all do silly things when we are younger and you live and you learn and I am still here today to tell another story time story so today I'm going to tell you a story specifically in relation to my summer story which was when I I spent a month all expenses paid in New York as an intern so and I've also got an amazing competition for you UK girls specifically to get the chance to win a holiday over the winter period thanks to diamond car insurance so stay tuned to the end I'm gonna tell you all about it but you know if you want to share a summer story girl you might find yourself winter winter sun you know so yeah stay tuned and i have all the details listed in the description bar below so i'm gonna get started get a cup of tea or whatever floats your boat as um i let you guys in on this okay so um when i was i think i was 21 or 22 when i went to new york i actually worked in finance and it's quite funny because um i actually vlogged before vlogging ever existed while i was in new york and i think the videos might be hidden now but um basically i worked in finance and they sent a group of all of the internship class um to new york because the companies a half an american company at the end of the day so they always send everyone to new york for a month all expenses plays you know you it's a group of young people who don't really know each other you know besides the six weeks where we all work together and so this is about to be the greatest opportunity this is the first time i've been away like abroad without my family and i don't know what it was it's almost like you know just starting uni and then you basically decide you're going to be do stupid things and yes you know you're there for work but yes, you know, you're about to live it up. So when it came to it, basically they put us up in the most amazing hotel. We stayed in the Sofitel, which is Midtown Manhattan. It's the most beautiful hotel, it's gorgeous. And basically everything was done in inside the hotel. So we had like daily classes and lectures and that kind of thing. And it sounds so bad, I can't believe I'm saying it. I didn't make it to a lot of it, <laughs> to be completely honest, because there were some mornings that was just a bit like, ooh, last night was rough. <laughs> and um, I'm gonna be keeping it really real with you guys, okay? If you don't know, I used to be um, an extreme party, part, part, party animals. <laughs> Before the Lord Jesus get them and save me. <laughs> The first thing I realised is that, um, like, is it called Deli Belly or something? But that is really real. And I found that after eating the food for, like, you know, a week or, like, even three days, that I was in so much, like, I was in agony because I felt like the food in New York was so rich. And by the time you're eating burgers and you're eating food that was very salty, you're just like, oh. And then, like, I was either constipated or the opposite of being constipated, which is a little bit <laughs> free flowing. Another thing I noticed during my summertime in New York is how um, friendly American people were, or New Yorkers were, and how open they were. And it was the kind of place where people would either they knew I was not from there you probably hear me talking and then everyone would be your friend so it was really easy to get people's phone numbers it was really easy to like meet up with people that you don't know and like go for a drink and go for a coffee so I do find that you know don't worry about not meeting people I feel like New York's one of those places that you can definitely definitely meet people you don't know now what actually happened or the story that I really wanted to tell was the most embarrassing thing that ever happened to me so um there was one night where all of us interns we went to this most like this gorgeous gorgeous um restaurant bar place i think like they hide it out it was really really opulent and really really nice i can't remember the details of where or what it was and i you know had my nice outfit on i had my hair laid now my hair laid meant that i was wearing a wiggy uh, basically i wore a u-part or a wig or something like that you know i wanted to look va va voom and and special and I really did think I was absolute the flyest fly in the world and I came in you know high heels clipped to cloppeting had my friend Makisha there with me Matt and you know she will remember this story if she watches this video and you know sometimes you just need to have your good friend who's going to help you when things go wrong now um you know what happens with the interns with the guys they do get very larry they're very friendly and you know when you are you're definitely at friend zones with everyone at this 
point in time and they do act a fool you know interns can act an absolute fool and so um basically the boys at this point were, were very you know liquidated should i say that and then we would proceeded to dance and there's me you know i'm dancing on the dance floor like i'm you know beyonce i was getting my beyonce on and then i don't know what it is with people right dancing isn't their forte and so you know i'm dancing and then the boys decide that the dance move that they want to do and i, I don't know if you guys know this dance move it's sandwiching like and it's not and it's not like a good it's like a sandwich like like you know have you ever watched it in between us like they genuinely dance like that and so you know me i'm just gonna join in yes we'll do a little awkward corny dance and then i happen to end up being sandwiched between two of the guys who then proceeded to sandwich like they were i don't know like they were not not so well you know <laughs> and then i proceeded to then fall on the floor that could that not be the most embarrassing thing the fact that now there's one boy me and the other boy and then bam we fall on the floor in the middle of this dance floor because clearly we're the ones making a big old scene and then what happens to happen is as i go down what's his name decides to yank part of one's head as we go down on the floor and one's wig decides to displace from one's head and obviously at this point in time what do you do when you are <laughs> braided up <laughs> with a scarf and the wig on the floor for everybody in your internship class and just everybody else in the middle of new york that genuinely happened and obviously i've got my girl makisha there whose eyes are locked real quickly on my piece on the floor <laughs> she grabs it she grabs me and we run out of the door and at that point in time you know when embarrassment takes you so you don't even know what you're doing because you're so embarrassed for some reason we ran like two blocks i like she had like my wig in her hand and i had like my hand on my head and then we proceeded to run just like two blocks straight and i was like oh my gosh you know when you're deathly like deathly 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 embarrassed like there's no words to discuss how embarrassed i was like tears of embarrassment came out it was a bit like how am i ever gonna face any of these people ever again like even now thinking about it i feel so like em like emotionally embarrassed by like what had happened and i was so angry that you know i came and think that was the the ish and the bob and and it oh it got taken from me in a second the wig falling off however i was so glad i had my friend who then once we ran the two blocks or so and i got the emotion out she then proceeded to help me to um replace my piece and then we silently you know calmly um walked home but obviously all my things were still in the bar at this point in time so I didn't go back in there, I didn't want anybody to see me and then um, she got my stuff and we went home. However, you know where you're like, the next day you still have to see everybody else because you have to come to the classes sometimes and for, the good thing is that when people are so drunk they don't really remember. To me it might have been a big moment but actually other things happened in the evening that clearly were more interested and luckily I didn't end up being the laughing stock of the class based on that. But overall, I grew up so much in that summer, that, that summer time. And obviously, there's embarrassing things that happened to me. And I don't know why. I feel like I'm one of them people that silly things just happen to me. I don't know why. Not so much now that I'm older. But then, I mean, I've got so many more stories like that where it's like, Patricia, really? Those are the kind of things that shape you and make you into who you are as you grow up and get a little bit older. So, yeah. So that was my summer memory um, in New York. So I hope you guys enjoyed that and gave you a little bit of entertainment. I kind of feel like I've always wanted to share this story because nowadays I'm just feeling less embarrassed and I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna tell the truth once in a while. <laughs> um, especially if you get to laugh at me a little bit and I'm sure you've all been there. I'm sure all of you lot have had a hairpiece fall off or a nip slip or anything like that, so yeah. 
and in the beginning I mentioned an opportunity that sounds amazing for the winter period thanks to Diamond Car Insurance one of you UK lucky ladies are going to be able to win a winter holiday with you and a friend hello how amazing is that all you need to do is share your summer memories like I just did either on Instagram on Twitter I think you can share it on Facebook as well and just share it with them use all the hashtag and the details that I'm listing in the description bar below to enter the competition and also there are other prizes as well I have this benefit real cheeky party kit to give away as well check my description bar and thank you to Diamond Car Insurance for doing this because I think it's great when we're able to give back to you guys and hopefully you can either win this prize or find yourself on a winter sun holiday make sure you guys enter I hope you enjoyed that story and I will catch you guys later bye <laughs> My worst makeup look tag. I look good in cow print.